2019 has been an interesting political year for Nigeria, from the detention of Shore to its eventual release to the removal of Dino Milaye to the Shiite protests. And do we see another NLC strike brewing as the Kassina NLC gives ultimatum? This is Plus Politics, and I am Benny Ark. Hardly has any year been as politically anticipating and heated as the year 2019, the election year in Nigeria. Like a clash of the titans, over 90 political parties registered with INEC and at least 60 are in the number one seat, the office of Mr. President. The year kicked off with loads of political brainstorming in the camp of the major contending parties, the APC and the PDP. The APC chaired by Adam Sushamale and fielding incumbent President Muhammadu Buhari and Vice President Yemi Ushibajo and the PDP chaired by Uche Sakandas and fielding former Vice President Atiku Obobaka and Peter Obi in a frantic effort to claim power of the incumbent. The political space set gear in motion in January with Atiku Obobaka of the PDP making what could be described as a triumphant entry into the United States after 12 years for allegedly laundering over $40 million into the United States. The success of this trip alongside then Senate President Bukolo Saraki was regarded by political analysts as crossing one of the most serious political hurdles on his part ahead of the presidential elections. Then, this long drama about the suspension and later the removal of the CJN Justice Walter Onoge over alleged corruption charges grabbed major news headlines as he stood trial on charges of non-declaration of assets instituted against him before the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The political permutations took a new twist with a coalition of young gladiators who believed Nigeria was ripe for a younger president, inspired by the not too young to run movement, the young gladiators agreed to form a coalition championed by Fela Durutoye, Kingsley Mogalu, Obi Ezekwesili, and Omoyele Shore, among other army of young Nigerians. But this political marriage was short lived by a clash of interest. Former Education Minister and one of the two women in the presidential race, Obiezo Kwesali, resigned as the presidential candidate of the Allied Congress Party of Nigeria on January the 24th, barely 21 days to the February 16 election. Like another movie suspense, hours into the election D-Day, February 16, the electoral umpire, Einek, announced the unforeseen postponement of the presidential election. The sad development sparked up a battle of words between major contending parties, the ABC and the PDP. Finally, February 23rd came, and INEC moved full swing into the presidential election. After days of collation, the electoral umpire declared the incumbent APC candidate, President Mohamed Buhari, winner, defeating PDP's Atiku Abubakar after winning 19 states out of the 36 states, while the PDP took 17 states. Mogalo and Durotoye, who remained resilient, did not make it during the elections. The political gear, therefore, shifted to various states as Nigerians kept themselves busy with the manifestos of an avalanche of political parties and campaigns across several states. And March 9 gubernatorial election came with the APC winning Lagos State, Kaduna State, Bornu, Gumbe, Jigawa, Kasina, Kebi, Kwara, Nasarawa, Niger State, Ogun State, Yobe, Zamfara, Kanu, and Plateau State and the PDP winning states like Abia, Akwaibom, Cross River, Delta, Ebony, Enugu, Oyo, Taraba, Benue, Adamawa, Bauchi, and Sokoto. Imo State was one of the embattled states politically as the power tussle between incumbent governor Rocha Sokorocha and the party chairman Adams Oshomole over his anointed candidate and son-in-law Uchamosu 
thickened. Unfortunately, the governor was thoroughly frustrated and toppled out of office as the PDP won the elections with Emeka Nyedioha, a battle Okoracha didn't see losing. River State was another flashpoint, though incumbent Governor Nyesom Wike of the PDP returned elected. It was a tough battle put up between the PDP and the APC, led by its leader in the state, Transport Minister Rotimi Amechi and his anointed candidate Tony Cole, who in himself has a running battle with the Rivers East Senator Magnus Abbey. In October, the Supreme Court dealt a sad blow to every ray of hope that the PDP and Atikwa Bubaka had to take over Asorok. As the Apex Court dismissed the appeal filed by the PDP challenging the victory of President Muhammad Buhari at the February 23rd poll. Embattled Senator Dino Milaye of the PDP was shown his way out of the Senate. He also lost a re-election for the Kogi West senatorial election rerun to his perennial rival and APC counterpart, Senator Smart Ademi. In the November 16 governorship election in Bayalsa and Kogi State, the APC defeated the PDP, adding both Bayalsa and Kogi State to its cart of victory with David Leon in Bayalsa and maintaining Governor Yahya Bello in Kogi State. As the year draws to a close, Omoyele Showere, publisher of Sahara Reporters, who hit public consciousness with his Revolution Now protest, was rearrested. His dramatic rearrest, after being granted bail by Justice Ijoma Ojuku of the Federal High Court in Abuja, is just like the running battle between the APC National Chairman Adams Oshomole and his aggrieved political son which has created the major political crescendo of political activities and epic puzzle of the year 2019. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. The Kassana State Chairman of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Usaini Hamisu, has said that the union expects the state government to fast-track his negotiations with workers on the consequential adjustments arising from the signing into law of the new minimum wage. He expressed hope that the joint committee negotiation between Labour and the state government will work to beat the December deadline given. I'm being joined this evening by Najib Bello, a political analyst, and Shegun Shikweton, a public affairs analyst. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this evening. Thank, Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Well, we'll take a break, and when we return, we'll be talking all about this and more.